John. Whoa. Hey, Rich. What do you got? G120X. G120X. So I've heard of the G120. We've talked about that before. What's the X all about? Uh, it's a similar family. Um, it's more industry specific. Uh, pumps and fans is what we're looking at. And compressors. Okay. So it, it looks a lot like a G120. So a little bit different you know, internals from a power perspective. I'm assuming some different capabilities as far as what the control unit does and, and how it drives or turns motors. And it's one it's one device. You can't get a separate control unit. Okay. The control unit and the power module are all in one. Okay, all one single device, got it. Okay, and so industrial pumps and fans, uh, what what kind of functionalities are we looking at here? What's, what's, what's great about this thing? It really lends itself well to pumps and fans. Um, there are built-in functions um, as far as uh, deragging. Um, there's fire mode, which you'd use on a fan, um, so that it continues to run until it can't run anymore. Okay. Things All like right. That. Okay. So, safe to assume, pretty pretty dumb drive with res respect to control. Everything comes from my PLC, and the PLC just gives it a speed reference. You would think so. Um, you don't have to connect it to a PLC at all. Um, there are free function blocks you can access inside, and there are macros that are directed right towards pumps and fan markets. So, and the interface on this smart access module for the free function blocks is actually really nice. Okay. So, free function blocks. Are we talking about putting logic? into the drive, if this, then that type of thing? Uh, not quite. Um, it's ANDs and OR gates. Um, there's some timer functions, um, things like that, Boolean logic. Okay, so if it gets a shutdown command, but I want it to go for 20 seconds after, I can have that timing inform or have that timing delay built into the drive as opposed to some external control device. Yep. All right, nice. Okay, sweet. So uh, safe to assume that if we're talking about the industrial pump and fan market, we're talking about a lower price point as well compared to the other drive families. Correct. It does, it's not as uh, feature heavy, um, so yeah, they are quite a bit cheaper and pretty re readily available right now as well. Okay, all right. What about communications? What, what does this guy have from a communications perspective? Uh, you can get a Profibus version or a serial version, also a uh, Profinet. Profinet, okay. Yeah. What, what about, um, you know, all the other drives talk Ethernet IP, what about this guy here? I'm glad you asked. Um, the Profinet version also does Ethernet IP. You change one parameter, now it's uh, Ethernet IP. Okay, so I don't have to buy a separate device or a separate communications module, change the parameter and away it goes. That's correct. Okay, all right. Um, have, you, have you had an opportunity to work with it in the Ethernet IP world? I have, we have a customer right now that we're working with uh, using a uh, Ethernet IP based controller. So, so, so uh, I, I safe to assume that we've got all the you know appropriate configuration files and function blocks and things like that in in the you know in the Rockwell world. These would be EDS files and AOI okay. blocks. Yep, those are predefined based on the uh, telegram that you choose to use with the drive. So. Okay, all right. And so from a configuration perspective, I see we've got the, we've got the IOP here. Uh, you know, on the G120, something that's kind of nice is you've got that smart access module where you can access it from a mobile device. That Same. works on this as well. It does, yep. Okay, so we can take that mobile device, we can bring that up on a little web browser, and we can configure it, troubleshoot it that way as well. Yep, so this is a wireless access point and you don't run an application, which is nice. Uh, you just access the web page inside the, the drive. So it's actually serving up the pages wirelessly. Correct. Yep. Okay, sweet. So when I think about the, you know, again, that, that fan and pump market, sometimes the atmospheres and, and areas that this has to go in aren't so nice. Where, what, what do we have there? Uh, they all, all the G120Xs come with the conformal coated board. So. Oh, sweet, right out of the box. So I don't have to order a C plus or anything special nope. for, that, for that unit. That's okay. correct. All right, great. Um, so yeah, so we got communications. Uh, obviously, we can con control it via digital I/O as well. Uh, we've got the conformally coded boards. Uh, sounds like a complete package. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Yeah.